Welcome to my new gold guide, how to convert carmine to gold. I will explain the three best solutions, which are both fast, easy, and most profitable. I will also tell you how to get exotic and ascended gear with karma. Timer and useful links are available in the description. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Guild Wars 2 content. Let's go. Third solution. Pack Supply Network Agents are special karma mercants. To unlock these mercants, you need to train the third level of the Pact Commander Mastery. You need a Guild Wars 2 expansion for this. There are six mercants in total, one per region of Tyria. You may only purchase one item per vendor per day versus Karma. To each of the six mercants, you can buy one Pact Scout mapping materials for a total of six per day. Each one costs 5000 Karma for a total of 30,000 karma daily. How to make gold with this? If you open your map, you will see that each map got specific rewards that are often expensive. If you double click on your Pact Scots mapping materials, you will earn the rewards of the map where you are. But there are two things you need to know. First, each of the six mercants moves to a different location every day. To know the location of each mercant each day, type slash wiki PSNA in your chat box. This will open the official Guild Wars 2 Wikipedia with the closest waypoints for each mercant. Copy and paste this code into your chat box and you will be able to fast teleport to the mercant location. You also can add the Wikipedia page to your favorite. Link is in description. Then go to each location. Mercant got a specific logo on the map. Be sure to do this daily, this will take you only 3 minutes each day. You will get 6 daily, 42 per week. Second important thing, the rewards of the maps are changing each week on a 8 weeks rotation. This means you should not consume immediately your Pax Scouts mapping materials. To know the most profitable map on week, type slash wiki MBRP in your chat box. This will open the official Guild Wars to Wikipedia. Link is also available in description. Here, as you can see, we are week 2. The most profitable map is Frostgore Sound. You can make 19 gold from 40 mapping materials in about a week. Look at the other week's rewards to know if you should wait for a more profitable week. As you can see, today week 2 is the most profitable. So you should go to this map and consume your mapping material. You can make 90 gold per month with this solution for only 3 minutes each day. This is 1 gold per minute, so it's very worth it. Second solution. Pass of Fire Makons. You obviously need the Pass of Fire expansion for this. Trade cash can be bought at Mercons so through the Crystal Desert. The Mercants are the herd vendors in Pass of Fire maps. Each cash will cost you 630 karma on 50 trade contracts. Trade contracts are a currency acquired in the Pass of Fire maps from events and chest. To know which cash is the most profitable, go to this site, Guild Wars 2 Efficiency, link is in description. As you can see, today the most profitable trade cash is this one, 14 silver for each. It may change in the future, so before buying it, check this site. This solution is extremely fast and easy to do. Third solution, Winter's Day Gift. This solution is available to everyone, even free-to-play account, but only during Winter's Day. Winter's Day is an annual special event that lasts from 3 to 4 weeks during December and early January. In Divinity Witch Map, during Winter's Day, you can trade your karma to this NPC versus Winter's Day gift. So, just buy gift you can buy from all the tier available, a limited amount each day. All the tier are worth it. And then sell the gift on the trading post. Do not open the gift, you will make more gold if you sell them on the trading post. Last solution, you will not make gold, but you will get free exotic gear or ascended gear. If you need an exotic gear, the temple vendors in Or 
sells level 80 exotic gear. This is available to everyone, even free-to-play account. The vendor is only available after a successful meta event. The most useful is Berserk gear in the Temple of Gwens. You can buy everything, full armor, rings, amulet, accessories, backpack. Each one will cost you 42,000 karma. You also can get an ascended backpack in the Sirens Landing map from Living Story Season 3 Season 6 in PvE. The renowned Heart NPC on this map will sell you ascended backpack with selectable stats for 200 Orion Pearl and lots of karma. You can earn Orion Pearl from gathering jumping puzzle of this map on home instance gathering if you unlock to the node. This is a very easy way to get ascended backpack. You can get it multiple times. Finally, you also can get an ascended amulet. Jean March's map from Iceboot Saga Episode 1 has a very easy ascended amulet to obtain. The vendor will sell it for 125 eternal ice and 56,000 karma. You need to unlock it first by feeding the seller. You can earn the eternal ice from fully exploring the map on only one meta event run. This can take as little as one hour of play. Last information, I am doing each week giveaway of legendary weapons. Feel free to participate, you have a small chance to win. Just check my last video on my channel, you will find the giveaway videos. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more Guild Wars 2 content. If you want to make more gold, I created all the gold guides, all my tips to farm and to make easy, fast and lazy gold in Guild Wars to have a look. Link is also in description. Thanks everyone, I wish you the best, bye.